morning view. Bien, that's here. Here's the breaking news for our viewers. In a significant political development in Pakistan, an agreement has been reached between two major parties, the Pakistan People's Party and the Pakistan Muslim League Nawaz Sadib group to form a coalition government. The announcement was made late Tuesday night with the PPP led by Bilawal Bhutto Jardari and the PMLN led by three-time Premier Nawaz Sharif reaching a power sharing agreement. Under the term of the agreement, the PPP will provide conditional support reviewing decisions on a case-by-case -case basis. The PPP will refrain from assuming cabinet positions but will pledge its support to the PML and Prime Minister candidate Seba Sharif, the younger brother of Nawaz Sharif who is currently incarcerated on corruption charges. Additionally, the PPP will seek key offices such as President, Chairman of the Upper House of Parliament and Governors in two of four provinces according to Faisal Karim Kundi, the PPP's Secretary of Information with the PML in securing 79 seats and the PPP obtaining 54 seats in the 342 member parliament, the coalition surpasses the simple majority threshold of 172 seats required to form government. Smaller parties such as the Army National Party and the Balochistan National Party are expected to join the coalition. Meanwhile, candidates backed by Imran Khan's Pakistan Tehri K. Insab party won 93 seats but lack the numbers to form government. Khan and his party have contested the election results alleging widespread rigging. The conditional support provided by the PPP presents a challenge for the incoming government particularly as it navigates a financial crisis and faces a robust opposition bloc led by supporters of Imran Khan. Political commentator Aisha Siddiqui anticipates a roller coaster journey for the coalition government. One of the coalition's primacy tasks will be to agree to critical fiscal tightening measures under a new international monetary fund program set to explore in March. Additionally, contentious issues such as the privatization of state-owned enterprises including the Pakistan International Alliance may pose challenges with differing stances between the PPP and the PML. Parliament is scheduled to elect the Prime Minister on February 25, followed by the President and the Chairman of the Senate. However, the political landscape remains tense, with the PTI disputing the election results and demanding the resignation of the Election Commissioner said. Amidst these developments, former Prime Minister Namaz Sharif has highlighted the importance of improving relations with neighboring countries, including India and Afghanistan. Despite challenges, Nawaz expressed optimism for better relations, emphasizing the need to strengthen ties with regional partners.